Live from Appleton, it's APTV. Welcome to APTV episode 527 for Thursday, February 1st, 2024. This week we have banter, news, updates, Raven Piston Fillers, Pilot Ball Points, an opera by Visconti, Favorite Red Inks, a contest winner, a new contest of course, plus nothing that we know of that is coming soon. Is that true? It is true for right now. Okay. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Brian. What is the longest word in the English language? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? No. What? Smiles. There's a mile between the S's. Nice. That's cute. We even made Justin laugh. Tomorrow, Friday, February 2nd, is Groundhog Day. Um, fingers crossed for an early spring. I always and get this mixed up. Is it if he sees his shadow, it's... I don't know. 12 more weeks of winter? I don't know. I, I think we need to watch the Bill Murray movie again. <laughs> Those I of us in a certain I love age that all know every you year say I watch Groundhog that movie Day and, Groundhog and you Day. think Bill Murray. Groundhog Day. So, uh, Saturday, February 4th is Thank a Mailman Day. Uh, mail day at the store is every day, so we get to thank our mailman often. We do. We love our new mailman. Uh, yeah, Ian's great. Yeah. And uh, this year for Christmas, he got one of the Retro 51. We got him the, um, uh, what is it called, the Route Master? Yeah. The Route Master, the little U.S. postal truck. So uh, we give that to all, we've given that to our last couple of mail yep. guys. Um, and we loved our mailman at the old space, but uh, um, apparently our old mailman had already started to train the new mailman even before yes. we moved. Yeah, yeah. So John was great in, in finding Ian and saying, okay, here's the deal. These people have a lot of packages. This is not just like a handful of envelopes. Yeah. Brace yourself. And so Ian was already half trained and prepared, and, and that was great. That was so, great. Thank you, mailman. Uh, Wednesday, February 7th is send a card to a friend day. Um, Would that count for Inco Rimo? That will count for awesome. Inco Rimo. Do that. Um, you could you could do all sorts of lots. I don't have any cards here. But no. We could. We could figure it we out. We could figure it out. Lots yeah. of cards. So send a, send card, a card to a friend. Uh, some news. Aurora Inc. Um, now this has been a change that's been in the works for quite a long time, um, but the forty-five milliliter. Uh, little square bottles are going away. And so we only have them left in the blue in and the blue, blue black. black yeah. And they are being replaced with a 55 mil bottle. Uh, personally, I like the change because I'm really clumsy. And I find that tall, thinner bottles for me are very tippy. So, no, that doesn't. This also will, it will, will it? tip. Yeah, it will tip well, sideways. It will tip sideways. <laughs> Um, uh, this is the same bottle they use for the um, anniversary, the anniversary inks. inks. Uh, now, so uh, you do get 10 milliliters more, but the price is going up. So if you like the blue or the blue black, and we're fairly low on the blue right now, right? Um, you get a it's a better value in the 45 mil uh, bottle. So grab it now while we still have some, and then uh, when we're out, we will only be selling the 55 mil yep. because that's yeah, so all that is there's, available there's no more to left. us. No more left in the 45. Why did the pie go to the dentist? To get a filling. Uh, just in a restock, um, this came in, this was kind of a surprise this week, but the Esterbrook Raven. Now we have, um, we have had the cartridge converter style back in stock for about a week or two. Um, and so that's your standard, uh, really cool sandblasted finish with a, a, a gloss um, clip and black trim on the nib. I love that that is not remotely slippery. It's nice, it's nice, yeah. isn't it? It's a nice matte finish. Uh, well, this week, so we, we have we have most, uh, and because of course these are black coated nibs, they're, uh, they don't they don't swap with anything else, so we have, what we have is what we have. But I think we have a pretty good, I think we have everything except for extra fine on the, the regular Raven. Uh, and then in uh, the Raven, the push piston, they call it, which has this ink window. It's got a little bit longer, uh, longer body here. But then you unscrew this blind cap, and then there's this, this kind of a, a button. Filler. Yeah, it, it's kind of resembled of, of a vacuumatic piston or a vacuumatic filler, uh, but it works very similar to the Con 70. So you pump this multiple times to fill 
the pen. Um, kind of just a, an interesting take on something different uh, instead of a, a cartridge converter, but that we have a couple of these left. These came in and went out. I think we have these in, um, I think I have these available in broad nib only. Uh, but if you want something else, you're more than welcome to call and we can, maybe we can swap something over from uh, a regular Raven uh, if you're looking for a fine or a medium. I think we have those. And they both have that cushion cap, um, which is just fun uh, so yeah. that it helps prevent the pen from um, drying out. So they don't, you don't feel it on the push piston. Okay. It doesn't spring on the push piston like okay. it does on the regular one. Um, I think the reason for that is that there's a longer section or right. something uh, else that's going on there. But, but very cool. Yep. So those yeah. are in stock. Those are cool pens. And, and awesome again, they're going to be uh, regular members of the uh, of the the line, but um, they've just been hard to get. So. How did the barber win the race? He knew a shortcut. Spotlight, this is one of my favorite pens. And of course, once I said that, I couldn't find couldn't my find actual it. personal pen. I think I have it at home on my desk. Uh, the Pilot Acroball 1000 Ballpoint. And I know, it's scandalous. I do love a couple ballpoints. Well, you know, you got some, every, you need a ballpoint every once in a while. So you hold I do, those. I do admit to that. And these for all come these years. in several colors. Um, I got red, black, I got gray. I have rose gold, light blue, and navy. Um, I used to have these right at the counter in Chicago. And um, somebody asked once, well, how do they write? So I took one out, loved it, always had it's it. It's a great refill. Um, and then would run out of that color. I think I had the rose gold first, then I had the light blue, then I had the navy. And, and red, people would yep. actually buy it right out from under me. Like, well, that's the only one I need it. Um, these are great, great pens. I love that they're thin. I like a thin pen. Um, click action and a really amazing refill. Uh, the Which nice is thing a, is... A fine. It says it's a fine yes. 0 0.7. You, normally we associate 0 0.7 with a medium. Yeah. But in this case, it's a fine. They call it um, a fine. Silver trim. <clears throat> Uh, just really a great pen, and these are thin enough that you could fit them in some planners or some some um, loops, maybe pen loops. Yep. yep. So, and but it's, it's not really, too thin. It's not cross century thin. No, it's not no. that you know. And it's it's a <clears throat> lacquer over metal, so it's a. Is that it's got decent it? weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah decent yeah. weight. Metal barrel. Yeah, it's you know it's. Oh, it's just metal. Yeah. If that's you right. if you if you need something for just to have around for somebody else to use, hey, you yeah. got a pen. You this is the pen to hand. And, and that's probably 10 times better than whatever they're using. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> right. so. Um, so February's coming up. That means Valentine's is coming up. We actually talked about a Valentine's gift this morning. Oh, did we? Did we? Valentine's gift? For Ma me. For you. I forgot already. We were going to. Oh, we're going to. Oh, yes, yeah. I remember. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> It was kind of it's a nerdy. It's not happening. It's kind of nerdy. It nerdy is guess. nerdy. I wanted to dress. I said I said we go this weekend. All right. Well, and there you said go. no. We're going to wait. Well, so let's anyway. Go anyway. So um, we talk about this all the time, but I just love these. The so we're just going to skim right over these. The Lamy red red pen. These cases. are great. Um, it's hard to find something that's not black, brown, or you yeah. know, tan. Yeah. So these are great. I love. See, and it's and it's a dark red. It's a yeah. real rich color. Yeah. So I know we do talk about these a lot. There's a reason. These are kick-ass. Um, <laughs> so sue me. Uh, so you've got the three. I've got, got the two. The three. Uh, there is a one available, yeah. uh, which I think we're out of at the moment. But uh, we've got them in black, too. But the, the Napa leather has this kind of this cool ridged pattern right. on the top with the magnet in it. Uh, and, and who doesn't love magnets? Yeah, magnets and then the pens good. don't. There's a little flap in between, so the pens won't touch. Pretty impossible to see it, but they won't touch. Uh, of course, it's available in black as well, but it's red. So there you go for Thanksgiving. Oh, sorry, Thank um, Thanksgiving. Uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. We are all well, messed up it's today. a it's a feast of sorts, isn't it? Well, I guess it depends on but, if you remember what I wanted for I, Valentine's yes, Day or not. I have a short term <laughs> memory problem apparently. Next up. Next up, another spotlight: the Visconti Opera Gold in red. Um, I have a thing for square items. Like Brian always teases me. I like boxy cars. And I love that this is a faceted kind of square 
yeah, body is, pen. The opera is a nice, yep. nice design. Uh, but this is this is the um, you know, normally you see opera. It's a it's a thousand dollar pen. This is uh, Visconti's steel nib version of the opera. So the um, uh, a nice number six. Uh, this is the new nib that's on that Rembrandt S mm -hmm. uh, or the new Mirage. Um, it's nice and big. It's 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 a really nice size. You know, the old nib that they had on the Rembrandt, I thought was a little bit too small. Right. So this is this is a very pleasing, uh, pleasing to look at. I think it's even threaded, but you get that Visconti power filler, the double reservoir, double reservoir power filler with the with the steel nib, and it's it's really a, a cool, cool pen. Nice and heavy knob. Does come in blue and black as well. Black. Uh, one of the things I black love is, cool. is that while the section is metal. It's got a satin finish, yeah. which is really mm -hmm. nice. It keeps it from being uh, slippery. And this, uh, there's some weight here. The weight really yes. kind of, um, it, it does. I, I wouldn't call it back heavy, but it definitely has. It sits nicely. Yeah. It sits nicely in the yeah. hand. So consider that for a Valentine's Day gift for, for yourself sure. or somebody else. And that red is lock. really pretty. That is nice, yeah. yeah. The, the black's not bad either, though, because it's got a little bit of a gold tone. Love the blue. So, but yeah. red is beautiful. Is that what you want for Valentine's Day? No, I want that dress. You want the dress. All right. Yeah. We saw a dress, and I can fit back into it now, so <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. All right. Uh, while we're on the topic of red. For Valentine's Day. I, I assume Day. this is something you, you cooked up here. Eric and I cook yes. a lot of things up because <laughs> that's what we do. Um, just a couple of red inks. So... If you switch out for holidays, like some people switch out ink colors for Christmas, I don't know about Thanksgiving, but um, spring or whatever, couple favorite red inks. Uh, one of my favorites is um, Sailor the Shikiori Rory. Yeah, that's nice. I taken those out. Come in a little cute bottle. Justin hates it when we make noise. So, adorable. Love the little gold cap. Love the little cube bottle. I like it because it's sturdy, won't tip over. Uh, we do have a Think Thursday on this color, so check that out. We also have the Faber-Castell India Red. Um, sorry, Justin. This is a gorgeous bottle. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, the India Red is a nice, um, bright, deep red, really great. Uh, you actually love this bottle so much. It's you use my this for ever. your shellac. Yeah, yeah. I've repurposed one of these for shellac, and it's just really because yeah. I go through a lot of shellac. And it's, yeah. it's 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 heavily weighted, uh, and the way it's designed, it, it's ribbed too. If you look along the uh, on the back, it's easier to see. It's ribbed on the back, so it's it's even. You have something even more to hang on to, and, and then it's such a, a nice cap. tall cap that you can grab. Yeah. It's not like, you know, Rochezuka is a beautiful bottle, but that cap is so thin, it's it's hard to grab. And this yeah. is just an easy, easy to grab, easy to open uh, bottle. And then also um, Monteverdi Love Red. What a great name. That's cute. It's got yeah. a little nib on it, a little heart breather hole. Yeah. Why so. not? Uh, just a couple options if you are going to switch out your ink for something for Valentine's Day. We had a contest last APTV, and I actually, before the show, did you count? I did count. And where did you count at home I counted, or at work? I counted. The number is different. It is. It is different. It is grossly different. It's actually probably gross, but um, I did count at work. Okay. How many pens do you have within arm's reach at this moment? And your answer was. Uh, no, I did not. I, did, I I just what was on my desk, and I cleaned my desk yesterday. Okay. 14. That's pretty good for you. Four are fountain pens. Wow. What are the other ones? Like mostly retros. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Retro 51s and there's a Sterling Silver Rollerball that you gave me one year. And well, that was very nice of you. It me. was very nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're mostly okay. Rollerballs and ballpoints that I have in a cup that sits kind of behind my monitor. And there's a, there, there's a Sharpie in there too. <gasps> okay. 14. Four fountain pens. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. Um, Neil BA5WX says, I have yes. 14 fountain pens, a ballpoint, a gel pen, 22 mechanical pencils. I don't have a problem. I can stop 
anytime I want. Two mechanical pencils. And two wooden pencils, <clears throat> all within arm's reach. I enjoy watching you two have so much fun with each other. 22, 22. mechanical pencils. Mm -hmm. Okay. You go. I, 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 I can't say anything. No, you can't. I have can't. lots of mechanical puzzles. BD says 16, writing utensils within reach, 13 fountain pens, one rollerball, one dip pen, and a Sharpie. Yes. All right. That's Probably two Probably don't Sharpies. need all of them on, on my nightstand. Okay. Well, it depends right. on how big your nightstand is or if they're like spread all over. I'm guessing, I'm guessing uh, nighttime journaling is what's going on there. There you go. Linda Thomas says, I have seven fountain pens on my desk. My only problem is I can only use one of them at a time. Well, you could learn to write with both hands. Um, at least I can enjoy their presence for the time being until I uncap a different one. Yep. There. Stephanie Lane, always excited to watch APTV. I have 10 inked pens within reach. Great. Oh, here we go. Thomas Powers, 46. That's four, six, 46 yep. on my desk. Varieties of styles, fountain pens, and others. Some I really ought to clean and put away. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what the number is uh, for me at home. It's probably in that. And should you also clean some of those? Oh, they absolutely away? all should be cleaned and put away. <laughs> yeah, I know a guy. But they're but they're there. They're they're like my my favorite, mostly modern. And so to then just I can just lay around. Emily Snope says, right this moment, <laughs> I have three fountain pens and one rollerball in arm's reach. No counting doesn't change what I'll have inked up. Maybe it should go through. Maybe it should though. So I'm motivated to clean more often. Walt Huntsman says, as I'm watching this, I have just three pens in reach. Good for you, Walt. That's impressive. When I sit at my desk, I have maybe 20 pens in reach, some of them cheap roller balls in need of a refill. We can help with that. The rest are the 10 fountain pens I own. It may be time to add another one to the collection. Uh, James Mad Chemiker, first off, thank you for being conscientious of the weather. There are pen enthusiasts that have had some close calls and tragedy with the recent deep freeze. Tragedy, yes. Yeah. Second, I'm very curious about journaling. I want to find a way to establish a better writing habit and to actually have something worthwhile to put on the page. As for the survey, I have four pens in arm's reach, but only three are inked. So. What's wrong with the other one, James? <laughs> Ink it up or put it away. Yeah, so you know the weather, I think we've, we've had a pretty good last few years, and, and I don't think we've had... You know, knock on wood, I don't think we've had anything break over the last few years. Um, yeah, we... Because when we, it gets cold, we just... We just won't ship. I just, um, it's better to err on the side of... Yes. There's nothing know, worse than getting a box yeah. in the mail and it has either sat here at the post office or somewhere along the way or at your post office or outside your house and then you get it and your bottle has... Um, the ink has frozen. <clears throat> And then it expands, and then it breaks the bottle, and then it's a huge mess. No, and that's why we package everything in. It gets its, every ink bottle gets its own. Any anything plastic, liquid, yeah. Plastic yeah. baggie. So anyway. just in case. Anyway, the but, winner, uh, winner is Karen Higgins. Her comment is: "It's so good to have the two of you in the same place, giving each mm -hmm. other a hard time." I know. Can you believe it's already been ten months since I came back home? A long time. Congratulations <laughs> to Eric at AndersonPens.com. He'll take care of getting that credit onto your Anderson Pens account. Uh, you know, Isn't this I a fantastic go, sweater that she's wearing? It really brings out. Um, I could work from anywhere. The sparkle in your personality. <laughs> <laughs> new, there's a new contest, new survey. This was my idea. Uh, okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Will you admit to occasionally using a ballpoint or a rollerball? I mean, are you I'll hardcore be, I, fountain I, pen only? I, I used to be, but... Yeah, you were. Uh, yeah, I, I, you just can't get around it. It's just too much work to, you know, well, we ignore would, ballpoints. We would occasionally go in Chicago next door to Miller's Pub, um, where they had killer chicken pot pie. Oh, my God, I do miss that. Um, but, you know, those those thermal papers that they use for receipts? Just don't. Fountain pen ink just never dries. No. Um, and there I, are I, almost no ink works good on yeah, those every there, paper. There are Nothing works good. Places where sometimes yeah. a fountain pen is not your best option. Yeah. So, do you occasionally use a ballpoint or a roller ball? Absolutely. I do. 110%. Yep. I carry uh, two with me at at all times. Which ones? Um, I have uh, ST Dupont Defi uh, in the vintage oh, copper. Oh yeah, the copper's cool. Um, 
as I love that design and they changed that design and then they got rid of that color. So I, that's a perfect pen. Um, it takes Parker style ballpoint. That's important. Uh, and then I have a retro 51, uh, his anniversary that pen. Special the, one. He, George made a special retro in the celluloid, that white celluloid uh, for some pr friends. And he had that imprinted GK stash. Oh, you just totally blew the minds of all the retro collectors. I think I've mentioned that before. Need that, yeah. Uh, and it's got it's got a different top disc to yeah. it than the, the original. Did, very, so. very, very special. Uh, very to special us. pen, so I carry that with me all the time. So. I Thank always you. have several. I have my Visconti, uh, my Medici ballpoint. Okay. And the one that you had thrown in a bag for six months after you came home. Go ahead, next one. My Medici ballpoint. <laughs> um, I, I look a, around, there's this Visconti lying in a bag on the floor in the, the living room. Really? Yes, it was in a bag for like six months. Usually I kept it's looking, in like, oh, yeah, that's well, my That Visconti. came home from yeah. Chicago. Um, I have a, sorry, retro people, I have a Machier Retro 51 that was a gift from George. You have that, you have that inked up? Yeah. Or well, it's just a, a, it's a roller ball. It's always inked up. Do you use it? Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful. Um, and several Lucky other... A, huh? What's on it? A bird? Uh, Fish? I'm not going to show you because it's going to disappear. <laughs> it was a gift. And it came in a special box, too. It did. You have a spe it did. Is it a box? It's a lacquer, it's a lacquer box. box. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, I think I know what I want for <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day. You're not getting my bed. <laughs> and I have a couple other ballpoints and roller balls. We, we are share. not going to share that. Sharing always It was a works. gift from me. Or from it, George it was a gift to from me. you to me. From George to me. <laughs> I almost got that on video. No, 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 no. Yeah, so right. anyway, do you use a ballpoint or a rollerball? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Why okay, not? Okay, great. It's, it's too hard to fight the One commenter the will be chosen at random to win a $20 credit on your Anderson Pens account. And I think that's, I think that's it. it. Do we have anything else coming up? Um, no. I can think of. I'll think about it as soon as, soon as, as we, we go say right there. Um, hey. We also have uh, in March on the second here in store only. We will be having another pen club meeting, and we are going to offer a journaling class. Lindsay will be teaching okay. that. Great. So there's that coming up. We'll put some info on the website about that. Other than that, that's it. That's it. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens and like this video. Give us a thumbs up. That's cute how we do that. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye.